Hi, hello and welcome to another video by Fermuwe. Today I want to ask a few friends that I've been traveling with for the last six, seven days, a couple of foreigners, about this story of the separatist that was caught. I'm not going to ask in a very direct question about this particular case, but I'm more interested in learning how do they feel that separatism should be handled in any country, no matter which situation we're talking about. So during this video, I want you to take a look at what my friends have to say. Some of them talk about Catalonia, some of them talk about um, Hawaii, some of them talking about Taiwan. But all in all, it's an interesting look at how separatists should be dealt and what China's actually doing in terms of this particular gentleman that was caught in China. So let's watch what they say. Uh, hello, hello everyone. My name is Atta. I'm from Iran and uh, I'm very happy to know you. Okay, um, Atta, I wanted to know, how do you think countries should handle um, the problem of separatism? Uh, you know, the separatism in the US, the separatism in Canada, um, but they all handle it differently. How do you think countries can handle that? Uh, actually, the, this is my idea, but I think the government, they have said uh, they are loose. But uh, I think it's better they do it by democracy, for example, they make some election or some content like that. I think it's in this world, because we have tough situation, is 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 enough we have if we push something or we wanna uh, impress some decided to other people. I think it's better we listening and after that we get to decide about the action. Cool. Thank you. Hey right, I'm here with my friend Noel Lee. I wanted to ask you a question. How do you think countries should handle separatism? Lock them up. Lock them up. Yeah, those people who try to, uh, you know, separate uh, Break up peace, the you know, it's all peaceful and stuff. People who want to, you know, disrupt the system, they should be handled, you know, in a proper way. I mean, all right. Yeah. You heard it from Mr. Noel Lee? That's just my opinion. <laughs> All right, we're here with Miguel. Miguel, uh, what's your channel name? It's Trippin. Trippin, okay. Uh, Miguel, how do you think countries should handle separatism? Well, I think the issue with separatism has to do a lot with understanding. You know, if you understand the core issue, most, most people don't want to start their own country. It's, it's a headache. Mm -hmm. So I think central governments who are dealing with the issue need to uh, try to understand the root cause of it. And if they can understand that, then there's a good chance they can actually solve the problems that are creating the, the distrust and, and the... And the desire. The, to yeah, the desire to separate. And I think countries like China attempt to do that with their poverty alleviation efforts. Um, I'm sure there's much more that could be done and should be done, but they at least attempt. <laughs> cool. Hi, we are here with Bob Mata. Bob Mata, Mata, Bob Mata. <laughs> hey, I wanted to ask you a question. How do you think countries should handle separatism? Like people who want to break away from the country. That's a hard question. Can you give me an example which country? Uh, for example, in Canada, in Quebec, some people don't want to be part of Canada. In America, some people in California don't want to be part of America. I think um, it depends on the country and if they are minority with long history or not. Because every country and every part of the country is so different. So it's so hard to say like just one country will be leading example. Because in Spain they also have this <laughs> issue. Yeah, but I wouldn't support it. You want it? Yeah, okay. when it comes to separatism, I also have an example. Because my country, I could check, we were one country. Mm -hmm. And before, we were one of the best countries in the world when it comes to GDP. We were number four, number five. Mm -hmm. But then now, after separating, we are not as great country as we were used to be. So it's it not unity. necessary. It is power in unity. When you stay together, you're more powerful. Yeah, right. I would say that. Thank you. But it depends. It depends. To every country is different. Jerry, I want to ask you a question. How do you think countries should handle separatism? Democratically, I think, rather than through terrorism, extremism, anything like that. I think uh, if a country, and Scotland's a great example, I'm British and Scotland has had referendums. Mm -hmm. The referendums have failed to approve, so Scotland is still part of the United Kingdom. Now there are some people in Scotland who wish it were differently, mm -hmm. but that's a democratic process. Uh, in my opinion, if you ask all the people of one country whether or not they should separate or separate part of their country, 
then if most of them do, then that's the way it ought to be. So it's not just the region that wants to separate, but the whole country that they belong to, uh, to begin with, right? Yeah, I, I know where you're leading with this question. If, uh, <laughs> if we ask the Taiwan residents whether they want to be a, an independent country, what happens to the one and a half billion Chinese people who say this is part of our heritage too? Mm -hmm. So I think you've got to ask everyone. And I've, I've made this comment on Twitter a couple of times. If you want democracy, you can't have it both ways. Yeah. You want democracy, you give democracy, you put the vote out there, the vote will obviously be overwhelmingly that Taiwan stays part of China, mm -hmm. which it is a part of China, so why should that be different? And you know, 1.4 billion people or thereabouts think that. And on Taiwan, many people also think that too. Indeed. Becca, tell me, how do you feel about separatism? There is separatism in many regions of the world. How do you think countries should handle that? Uh, what exactly? Can you one more time repeat the question? Um, think about uh, the people in Quebec. They want to separate from Canada. Or some people in California. They want to separate from the United States. And some people in Taiwan want to separate from China. What do you think governments should do to handle that? Oh, this question is very heavy. It was <laughs> yeah, it's the very if heavy question. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 it's all right. I can tell you because we have the same problem with Georgia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a special place in Georgia, name is Abkhazia mm -hmm. and South Ossetia. So this space is actually that belongs to Georgia, like Taiwan belongs to China. China. So, uh, actually, you know, the people never wants to separate to other people mm -hmm. if there is everything going well, I mean, in an economic way. Because I'm talking about Georgia, actually, right? because it's my country and my space in Georgia. So, Abkhazia and South Ossetia is there from the Asian times, belongs to Georgia. But because of the reason of the Soviet Union situation, they made it story like we cannot accept the same culture from so they make it story to make between our two nations some uh, uh, yes. so after that they wanted to be separate to be separate but this is uh, for just uh, for a short time we Georgians believe like when Soviet Union politics, I mean Russian politics, what they do right now, uh, will finish, we will become in one country, like before, like before we live in one country, happy, happiness, happy, and enjoy our culture. So I don't think so, like, and I'm not supporting to, uh, to make like so many small countries in the world. Just power in unity. Yeah, power always in the unity. You know, when you make the unity different kind of uh, culture in one area, that's the power. So I'm not definitely support to make the small, 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 small countries. Alright, so <laughs> right, guys, so I wanted to share a very simple look at how other people look at the problem of separatism and whether separatism is something that needs to be considered as a crime. In my personal opinion, what I would like to say is that separatism is, is a childish game. If you have a problem with the government that is ruling you, you need to sit at the table and discuss it. You need to will oppose the government and discuss solutions to your problems. Separating is not the answer. The answer is to sit at the table and talk about what are the issues that we have. In the particular case of Taiwan, the idea is reunification. What are the benefits of reunification for Taiwan and for China? And what are the disadvantages of reunification for Taiwan and for China? And try to find solutions to those problems. That's what mature uh, politicians do. That's what mature governments do. So whether it be Quebec, uh, Catalonia, where it be Hawaii, what you've got to do is sit down and work out what are the grievances that you have with the government that is ruling you. That's all it takes. So if there's any issue between Taiwan and China, you really have to sit down and nail it down and figure it out what the solution is. You will find out that there are many more things linking these two than separating them.
All right, guys, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much, and until I see you again, take it easy, and bye for now.